is interesting to talk about is uh, why did you jailbreak your phone? Oh, I should introduce myself first a little bit. Um, so I work for SORIC on community and support for Cydia. A lot of the times I stay a little bit behind the scenes, but I moderate forums like Jailbreak QA and our Jailbreak the subreddit. Um, and I write some of the stuff inside of Cydia, like the uh, jailbreaking iOS version information. Yeah. So, okay. So why did you jailbreak your phone? Um, Where the sliders 
are the end cats. <laughs> and and it, it, it should be animated. They like do the little running dance as you change your volume. That's so cool. <laughs> um, so <laughs> jailbreaking is this like big prototyping lab where we can experiment with what software interfaces can do and how it can make them more fun. Um, and instead of coming up with a concept in Photoshop and everybody's just kind of giggling at it or thinking that's kind of a cool way to do keyboards, you can actually implement that feature right away. You don't have to wait for Apple to maybe see your blog posts and maybe decide that it's okay for them to implement it. You can do it right now and see how it works. Um, like swipe selection, which is this alternate way to use a keyboard, which sounds kind of cool, sounds kind of weird, and you use it, and it's kind of interesting. And it's maybe not perfect, but it's valuable to have that experimental attitude and, and experience. Um, that's one reason to jailbreak. There are more reasons. Um, and I won't list all of them, because I'll be here all day. Um, but one thing that I think doesn't get enough appreciation is being able to turn off features in iOS. Um, so one of the things I do is I maintain the featured packages list in Cydia, and one day we realize that we should have a special list of packages that start with no. Um, no accessory splash, no cover flow, no news is good news, no passcode block, no store button. If you search Cydia for no, you're going to get way more of these. Um, these tweaks that can turn, turn off annoying features that Apple doesn't have an option to disable, like shake to undo. Like, a lot of people really just find that irritating. Um, anyway, I think that's pretty fun. Um, and you can fix Apple's default features that favor their own apps instead of App Store apps, like um, Browser Changer, if you like Chrome, or Maps Opener, if you like Google Maps, um, which makes a more level playing field um, and turns off some of their, I don't know, you could call it anti-competitive attitude. Or maybe it's just they're trying to be user-friendly. <coughs> Um, and that's one set of reasons. You can add features, you can take them away, it's pretty fun. But there's a second set of reasons that I find really interesting, and a lot of people do too, which is that you can jailbreak because you can. Um, because you should be able to jailbreak your device. Um, this principle is why a lot of people jailbreak. I've met people who like work for the Free Software Foundation, and they have an iPad because I don't know, somebody gave them an iPad. And they don't like iPads because pretty closed operating system, so they don't break it. And they put it next to their computer and they feel better about it. But, I mean, maybe that's not the best reason to jailbreak. It's kind of <coughs> Start writing code without asking Apple for permission and paying Apple. 
Um, which is awesome. Um, and I've seen this on the forums that I moderate, that somebody comes in asking a dumb question, and then a few months later, you see them pop up again, answering a question from somebody else about how to download your baseband. I'm like, whoa, you know, where did that come from? But that person has been learning and reading. Um, it warms my little heart. It's fun. Uh, it's, it's a big part of why I work on this stuff. I, I like to imagine we're sort of training this whole secret generation of people who actually know how to think of computers. Um, I don't know if that's actually true, but I think it is. And it's really exciting for me. Um, yeah, so I hope if somebody asks you why you don't make your phone, it probably still is best to say like, oh, I have this really cool, you know, theme. Um, you guys should try it. Because if you try to explain all this, they might get sort of confused and bored. But hopefully it'll sort of linger in the back of your mind. There's these deeper, important reasons why we do this stuff and spend so much time with it. Well, anyway. So that's